my name is Charlie Anstead and I'm the owner and driver of this 2004 Hayabusa. I got Dave Owens here who's my builder and tuner and um, he's been schooling me on what to do, most importantly what not to do. I had the privilege of building this bike for Charlie personally. Um, it's a 2004 Hayabusa with an RCC Ultra Kit made by Richard Pepler of RCC Turbos in Canada. It is a stock bore motor with a stock crankshaft. It uses JE pistons, Carrillo rods. Yesterday we came here to Maxton and our first pass we went 246 miles an hour. Every time we go make a or he goes make a pass, we'll go over the data, we'll look at what he's done, look at what the bike's doing, and we'll go back and readjust, you know, to to optimize what we get out of the bike. There's another 150 horsepower on tap. The question is can we get the back tire to hook up and the front end to stay down? How you feeling? Good. A little nervous. A little nervous. New bike? What? No, no, no. Just first run, you know. Okay. How bigger than butterflies? Oh. Eagle jet? Not like that. I Went back out, made another pass. In sixth gear, it started to come up on me. I had to back out of the throttle, slid up on the seat, got right back in it. Uh, that was just so amazing. Um, I couldn't come down after that. He's rode this bike three events. He's made a total of 12 passes, I think. And to be at this level in 12 passes is astounding. It really is. The turbo system utilizes a GT40 turbo, it's a Garrett. Um, it has made 636 horsepower at 35 pounds of boost. We have it turned down here to about 24 pounds of boost, which should be making approximately about 480, I would say, at the back tire. All these are back tire measurements on the Dynajet 250. Um, there's a lot of electronics on this bike. We have an AMS 1000 boost controller made by NLR, which works fantastic. This is a timing control module. I can control the ignition timing retard by the level of boost. This is Innovate's DL32 data logger. It, record, it will record 44 minutes on this little SIM card right here, which I just take and download into my computer and look at all the data. It's a wonderful unit. It has a wideband 02 driver. It's very accurate. It has five onboard channels. It has an onboard map sensor right here, which will record um, two bars of boost, but we're above that, so we have an external sensor to monitor to that. The swing arm, as you can see, is extended about four inches velocity. We have the tire warmers on here, as you can see, to get the tire up to temperature. We have an Owens shock with remote preload adjustment, which is really nice. The rest of the front end is pretty much stock. Um, it does have aftermarket wheels by Marvic, and we're running rich tires from Richie's Tire. Richie's Tire hooked us up, and we're running Michelin Pi Power Pilot race tires. Um, the chassis is pretty much stock with a velocity swing arm. Um, the front end is not raked. The bodywork is still factory, and that's pretty much the bulk of it. it it's, it's pretty much a stock bore, stock stroke motorcycle with eight to one pistons and a lot of boost. Yeah, there's one secret, and uh, his name's Davo. I really think that is it. Um, he's made a big difference in what I've been doing. If it wasn't for him, I wouldn't have got there. Um, that's the secret.